All right, so I'm here. All right, so quick review, because a couple of you guys were struggling with this on the neon belly. So when he's here, you don't want to have your toes in the mat. Two reasons. One, it splits your weight in between your knee and your foot. Right. So the problem you run into there is this control is all about his weight being on me. So when he digs his toes into the mat, it sits his weight back naturally and makes it a lot easier for him to get swept and just bad things in general to happen, right? So you want to make sure you keep your toes off and your ankle hits. Two, when I'm here, I'm not just shrimping up, I'm also pushing my hips out. So if only there was a little drill where you posted your foot and, and did a little motion like that. What, what would you call a drill like that? Uh, some aquatic creature maybe? Is yeah, I mean, we could make up a name for it, like Ron. the shrimp and drill. Ron, yeah. So when we're Ron. here, guys, remember, all we're doing is shrimping. And as soon as I get that weight off me, I'm trying to re-engage this knee right back in. All right? Guys, it is simple. It is not easy, right? That is what you need to realize about escaping side control. Yeah? Hey, so grab the bike. Jakari. <laughs> Can I have that? Put it down, switch it. There you go. Thank you. Hey, you. Go punch no. Rel. Go punch him. Leave it alone, squishy man. Punch him. I think he's trying to put it back in his other hand. There you go. Oh. All right, so we're here. All right, so now let's assume, boom, I go to push this off and it's just not working, right? He's got a good base and I just can't seem to get it off. All we're gonna do is I'm gonna reach in with this hand to the opposite hip, here. All right, as soon as that hand hits the opposite hip, all we're gonna do is wave with this hand to knock him back as I push him forward. All right. So I'm here, boom, this hand pushes to the hip, this hand scoops at the ankle, and I try to shrimp myself out this way. Okay? What are you doing? No, leave that there and go punch well, like I told you. You want to punch daddy, okay, one minute. All right. So we're here. <laughs> Boom. I try to push this off. It doesn't work. Boom. You reset. Pop. I'm pushing with this hand in here and scooping that ankle. Ah. Your goal is to come up here. Big be careful about walking yourself straight into a triangle. Yeah. You know, the obvious. If you just walk in like this, Jordan's going to triangle the shit out of you. Yep. Because he's Jordan. But your goal is to off balance him and either create the scramble or work your way up. <laughs> um, questions on this one? Yes, you want to be aware of this can't just be like a telegraphed move where you're like, oh, I'm going to push here and I'm going to leave this hand up. And yeah, because you're going to get spun. But when I'm here, I'm playing like a T-Rex arms until I'm ready to move. So like for me, I'm trying to move here and trying to kind of off them. Oh, you <laughs> oh, got, got me. Pushed. That's four points. <laughs> you're playing T-Rex arms. And yeah, because you don't want to drive past this one because you will get spun on pretty quickly. But I'm playing T-Rex arms, and you're trying to do this kind of as you're moving, shrimping and bucking. And if they secure the takedown or the points there, take your time getting off that point. Because at that point, the scourge, it doesn't get worse from that. So at that point, you have a little bit of time to kind of shrimp and move and second All right. Other questions? On I would hit that first one for real. And then if that one doesn't work, the reattack is there. So it's kind of a, a one-two punch. You're saying the first one, the first one you showed. Yes. Not the first attempt at this. Yes. So, boom. Like, if I'm here, how this should look if Jordan really gets knee on belly on me? I'm going to shrimp and move. You go over there. Boom. I'm going to shrimp and move. I'm going to look to push that one off. The second that doesn't work, then I'm, I know it is. Then I'm going to sit up and do it. Is there a smooth way to go from the fail of that to the, to the next one? Re, re shrimp. Okay. It's just a re bite. Okay. What's up, big dog? Alright, driller out. One, two, three.
right? Boom. He's got a really good neon belly. Things are happening. I don't like that. But let's say I'm here and I realize that, hey, he didn't protect his ankle because he's not smart. Right? Boom. All we're going to look to do is I'm going to look to scoot this ankle up and under. Keeping the ankle underneath. All we're going to look to do, pop our hip out. Once again, we're pushing to that belly, but now we're driving our knee to the inside. Now, when you have this ankle scooped, you have a variety of options, all up to your legal rule set. So, if you're wearing pajamas, almost never can you then rebite into a heel hook. But, if you're there, you can rebite into straight ankle, which is what I'm generally gonna attack anyway. So if I'm here, Boom, I don't like what's going on. Boom, I sit there. As soon as we come up, I look for the bite and attack. Couple details on the straight ankle you guys want to look for. One, I want to maintain the distance I want with this inside leg. A lot of us don't use this leg to control distance. So if Jordan's in here really tight and he's fighting with me in here, it's going to be really hard to finish with straight ankle. I extend here. It makes life a little bit harder. <laughs> Come here. Come here. That allows us to maintain that distance. The other thing is, when I'm here, I don't want to have my block halfway up his head. Boom. So I'm looking to have my thumb right under the trigger of the ankle. How do you do that, boys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So boom, we're here. Lean back and into that finish. So we're here. Boom. We're shrimping. We're moving. We're doing stuff. Boom. I scoop that ankle. Knee in. Sit him back. Now, a lot of times people are going to panic, grab this ankle when you sit them back like this. Realize they don't have it. Because their legs aren't in between our legs. So literally all you have to do is straighten your foot or pull your foot up and there's nothing there. Now, if you leave your foot loose here, you can get kind of that quick, cheap ankle up. Literally as long as you just flex your foot, there's nothing there. They don't have the leverage point to do anything. Now, they pull it across and start doing some stuff. Now you're in trouble. But as long as it's the same side, you're fine. So don't panic here. Um, but play to your rule set. If you can, straight ankle lock. If not, like I said, just use this as a reset position and come back up. A lot of tournaments now are allowing white belts, straight ankle lock, straight knee bars. So a lot of you guys can use some stuff here. But you're looking just to scoop that ankle Drive your knee up the center line and set him straight back. All right? Questions on this? One more time, other than the one more time. So we're here. I'm hand fighting. Boom. My hand scoops. Bottom knee comes in. Here. Control your distance. Tuck it into your armpit. Lean back. Collapse your elbow. All right. Driller out. One, two, three.